everybody. So I got a quick story that I want to share with you guys. Hopefully you have a couple minutes. Uh, so this story is about a, a man. And this man lived in a town, and unfortunately, his town had a very bad flood that put the entire town underwater, and many of the residents had to resort to climbing up on their roof, like this man did, uh, in order to survive. And this man was a God-fearing man, and he said to himself, God is going to save me. All right, I believe in God. God is going to save me. I know that for a fact. Nothing can change my belief. I know he will. While he's waiting there on his roof and the water's slowly rising from the middle of his house and creeping up on that roof that he's, that he's again, surviving on, a guy comes by in a rowboat. A guy comes by in a rowboat and he says, hey, I got some room here. You know, I got some supplies. I'm, I'm driving people, I'm rowing people to safety, driving on a boat, people to safety. Hop on, I'll take you. And he goes, no. And the guy in the boat says, well, why not? I can, I can save you. Don't, don't stay here. You might, I don't know what's going to happen to you. I, I want to save you. And he says, God will save me. The guy says, okay, whatever you say. And he rows on away. He moseys on over. Next, a few people in a huge motorboat come zooming by. And they stop and they say, hey, come on in. We're, we're going to a party. All right, we're getting everybody out of here. We're going to a party on, on by the beach down, down the way. Okay, you want to come with us? We'll save you. He says, no, I'm okay. And they said, well, well, why not? We got so much room here. Look at this giant boat. We got so much room. We're happy to have you. He says, no, God will save me. And they said, okay. Zoom. And they went on their way. Lastly, a helicopter comes flying down from the ceiling and SEAL Team 6 pops out. They drop down like Mission Impossible style. They hop down on the roof with ropes and they say, sir, come with us. We're going to save you. We're going to bring you to safety. We have a you know, we have a, a, a camp where, where the, all the refugees are going. We have water. We have shelter. We have food. We have showers. You can be saved. And he says, no, I'm not going with you. And they said, well, why not? We've been saving people all day. Come, we're gonna, we're gonna get you there. We're gonna get you to safety. We got you. Just give us your hand. He says, no, God is gonna save me. And they say, okay. And they get back up on their helicopter, reverse Mission Impossible style, and they go zooming away too. It ends up that the guy's house ends up flooding fully and he drowns, unfortunately. After he drowns, he goes up to heaven and he meet, ends up meeting God over there by the pearly gates. And he says to God, he says, I have, I have one question for you. I've been a God-fearing man my entire life. I have nothing but love and respect for you. Why didn't you save me? I called for you. I, I, I asked for you. Why, why didn't you save me? And God looks at him with his arms crossed and he's tapping his foot and he says, what are you talking about? I sent you the guy in the rowboat. Then I sent you the guy in the speedboat. Then I sent you the SEAL Team 6 from the helicopters. I did. Okay, so hopefully it made you laugh just a little bit. Hopefully that story put a small smile on your face. But what's the greater meaning here? Sometimes we get so bogged down in one way of thinking, in one tunnel vision way, direction of thinking, that we lose sight of everything else going on around us. We lose sight of a grander picture or maybe another avenue to also doing good, to always being able to be our best selves. And while it's important to be diligent and focused in the pursuit of our goal, we can't be so focused and so engrossed that we lose out on all the beauty that's happening around us and the amazing things happening to us each and every day. And maybe, just maybe, if you tilt that head up a little bit and you keep your head up high and you focus on your goal, but you make sure to stop and smell the proverbial roses, watch what starts to happen. Watch what you start to get experienced to and get exposed to. A whole new world of greatness, a whole new world of ways to be your best self. I wanna thank you for watching and remember, never settle for anything less than your best and always make sure you put your stamp of an extra 1% on every single day. Take care and I will see you around. Bye.